Hello, another video from me, Tractor Scratch Pro and my CDJ400, now in the MIDI mode. As you can see, they are still uh, in the USB mode. They are using the MP3s, but I now connected them via uh, USB to my laptop. So I just press the USB button to change to the PC mode. It looks like this. There's no Illumni uh, pattern which is turning when I press play and there is no information on the display. So I can get out my USB stick and the same on the other one. PC mode, pull out and I'm ready to go. So back to the software. We can try, but it won't work, because he's thinking we are still in the in the time-coded um, uh, mode. As you can see on these on these two circles here, that says it's the relative or absolute mode for the uh, time-coded vinyl. So the one says. We're using it as a, C, as, as a CDJ, and the other one says yeah, we're using the CDJ as a vinyl or a vinyl in the vinyl mode. <laughs> and so we have to uh, switch that. I already got a file, so I go in the pr file and preferences. Oh, a little bit blurry. So I can down here import in the preferences. So I just import my CDJ MIDI configuration and I'm loading everything to be sure that it's working fine. So it says I have to restart it. Just a second, it would open. So now it's here again. This is the MIDI symbol when it's when it's uh, lighting up in this blue. Then I'm pressing some uh, buttons on the MIDI controller, the CDJ 400, plugged in with the USB, so I can be sure that I'm uh, that the computer is recognizing my input from my CDJ 400. And when you're not sure if you're in the correct that you're in the correct mode, you can uh, press on this arrow, which gives you three options to choose from. And these are internal playback for just using the software, audio through, which I don't, which I haven't used yet, and the scratch control, which I used in my previous videos. Now we are in the internal playback because we are using just the software connected with the CDJ400 uh, for using using for MIDI purposes so when I now press a button it's playing, you can hear it I guess and it also started running on the software because the software is putting out the mp3 I just loaded on this deck you can uh, set up to four decks and you can tell the CDJ400 which channel it should play so you can in, in theory you can just have one CDJ400 and uh, control all four decks not at the same time but when you switch the focus let's say now we have to focus on uh, deck D you go to the other deck now it has to focus and when you uh, programmed the MIDI controller in Tractor Scratch Pro that way that it changes the focus that your CDJ can control deck A now instead of deck B so you uh, theoretically only use one CDJ 400 to control all the decks in the Tractor Scratch Pro I have the uh, 
original configuration for the MIDI control of the CDJ400 of this uh, Tractor Scratch Pro software because it came with a lot of configurations of the standard uh, hardware DJ gear on the market. So I have the cue point, I have play. This button does the um, does the synchronization between the beat uh, between the two decks. So when I start the other one, it's not in beat. So I just play the, press this button. And it now should be in beat. The problem with uh, national instruments is I figured out that national instruments has this uh, white uh, beat grid, and as you can see, it's not on the beat. That's a problem because you can't use the synchronization button when the beat grid is not in the correct uh, position, and it has an auto grid that ma uh, that builds this first grid, but I recommend that you have to build your grid and uh, configure it for each track uh, manually because in 70% of the of the uh, tracks it won't fit the bars like in the in the right uh, deck here the bars fit the, the beats and you would be able to press the sync button to sync it with the other um, deck so I guess Tractor is more pro because you have to um, beat match yourself and it's not taken away from you from uh, by the software <laughs> but it's no problem because we all um, are able to do it ourselves and if not you can still manually um, set the beat grid by yourself and still can synchronize but I don't know if it's worth it to uh, configure it for every uh, track I have. So back to the CDJ. I can uh, scratch because the jack jog wheel is is set. Um, the configuration for the jog wheel is that when I move it, it scratches. As you can see, it's turning forth and back. And when I just hold it, it's not moving. When I leave the jog wheel. it uh, starts playing again. Yes, and you have an, uh, a lot of other buttons they also have set and configured to functions in the software but you can uh, configure them yourself you can also use the knob of the CDJ and other buttons. The only buttons you can't use are the uh, mode buttons which switches to CD or USB control and all other buttons are configurable and this, this is really nice and I guess these are enough um, for the software. I hope you got a, a little overview and, <laughs> and you're not bothered by my, by my lacking uh, talking skills <laughs> but I hope you Practice and enjoy.